Are you thinking about going keto and wondering, what are the pros and cons? I've got you. I went keto a year ago and let me, spoiler alert, I've had great success with it. So this is gonna be a little bit biased, but I am gonna give you the full list of the pros and cons of going keto so that you can think about whether it's worth it for you to dive in and embrace the keto lifestyle. Hey everybody, welcome back. I am Kelly Alexa, fitness fanatic, serial entrepreneur, confidence coach, and most recently, keto convert. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I went keto a little over a year ago and had an outstanding transformation. In fact, I would go so far as to say keto has changed my life. And yeah, I'd say keto has changed my life in a very positive way. So I'm excited to share this video with you and share what I honestly feel are the pros and cons. There's definitely some cons. I think a lot more pros, but I'm gonna give you my opinion on the pros and cons of going on the keto diet, the keto lifestyle, and hopefully this will help uh, you, know, you make an informed decision on whether the keto diet is for you. Let's dive in. All right, everybody, you know the drill. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, and while you're at it, make sure you also hit that cute little bell so that you're notified anytime that we put a new video out. Let's get started. All right, everybody, welcome back. Let's dive in and start talking about the pros and cons of going keto. Now, I mentioned in the beginning, I am very biased, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm just gonna be like, there's no cons to going keto, it's all pros. I just wanna be fully transparent with you up front to say that, you know, um, well, you know what? As I'm about to give, as I'm about to lay the foundation here, this might be good for you to hear. Um, because now I'm realizing I might be able to real, I've got to be careful as I cross my legs here. There's a lot of cords going on down below. Um, so I went keto June 1st of last year when my functional medicine doctor uh, finally gave me the green light to diet. And this was after I had been working with my, fun, you know, my new functional medicine doctor, Dr. Ruthie Harper. She's up uh, in Austin, Texas. You can look her up. I will link her down below. Um, she is wonderful. I have referred so many patients to her. So if you are a woman who is looking to get your hormones balanced and you need a functional medicine doctor, she does take telemedicine appointments. Um, in fact, I've actually never met with her in person. I have only met with her over the phone, so that should tell you something. She is wonderful. But um, she's the one who put me on the keto diet. She is the one who has educated me on why the keto diet is ideal for women 40 plus with metabolic damage. Um, and metabolic damage pretty much means you can't lose weight because your hormones are jacked. That's my, that's my way of describing it, right? So um, I went keto. June 1st of last year at the urging of my functional medicine doctor. But, and this is, where I'm, this is where I'm realizing I might be able to provide a really good both pros and cons perspective for you, is before I was convinced by my doctor to go keto, I was the single most skeptical, I don't wanna say single most, cause I'm sure I, I just was in the legions of, of people who thought that keto was a joke, Keto is a fad diet. Keto isn't sustainable. Um, you know, all the bad things that people think about keto, I was one of those people. I said I would never go keto. I said of all the things I would never do, I would not go keto. Ironically, let me just say this as you start watching this video. I had been stuck working out, dieting, in a caloric deficit, working out six to seven days a week, um, sometimes twice a day, working out with a trainer at Gold's Gym. And, and I'm, I'm just bringing up some of these, these very specific points to let you know, like I was very serious about my fitness. I owned a fitness company. I, I was running a fitness influencer network. I was in the fitness business. I've, I've just been crazy about getting fit and healthy and, and very dedicated to it, okay? I was, you know, on bioidenticals. I'm still on bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. I was spending a lot of money, investing a lot of money in myself, in my health, in my wellness, and trying to get my body optimized from a fitness, health, and wellness perspective. And yet I was unable to lose weight. 
um, just unable to get anywhere. And so I was doing everything from a fitness perspective. The only thing I didn't do was go keto. And, and yet when I went keto, I had the biggest fitness transformation of my adult life. So I want you to think about that as you go into this video, that here I was rolling my eyes, thinking keto was the biggest joke, and it was the one thing I didn't do. And when I did it, it was the one thing that delivered the biggest transformation. So please think about that as you go into this video and you evaluate the pros and cons. Because sometimes the, the thing that we, that we are the most skeptical about, the thing that we put off, the thing that we ignore, the thing that we resist, that's the thing that we should be paying the most attention to. I certainly know that. Um, and that's why I've become such a strong advocate. I've become so passionate about it. I'm a keto coach now. I have a course for women, a five-day online keto boot camp for women. I will link that down below. Um, it's just something I'm incredibly passionate about. I don't want other women to have to waste the time that I did doing all of these other things, working out two, three times a day. In fact, I just left a message, a voicemail for a friend this morning because I saw her going down that same path I was going down. I'm like, girl, why are you working out two, three times a day? Why are you eating a thousand grams of protein? All of these things I did for years that you don't have to do. I digress. So before I went keto, I was that person who probably like a lot of you watching this video was like, oh God, I, you know, I hear people losing weight on keto, but that I just, it's the one thing I will not do. I can't go down that road. Um, and yet when I did it, I had the best transformation ever. So I've lost 36 inches and 30 pounds off my body. I have kept it off. It is absolutely my lifestyle, um, I have not cheated on the keto lifestyle slash diet, whatever you want to call it, that I'm on since June 1st of last year. It is now June 27th of 2022. Um, I haven't felt the need to. Um, I am adjusting my diet approach, my, my um, lifestyle to incorporate high carb days now, and I'm working in there, um, 24 hour fasts and this approach called one meal a day. It's called OMAD, one meal a day, whatever. But that's to mix things up and also the, the high carb days, two high carb days a week. That is because after you have been on keto for a while, it is um, ideal for your health and also for potential future weight loss to not stay on strict keto all the time. I was told that by my functional medicine doctor. I was also um, discovering this in more, some of the research that I've been doing. I'm doing a lot of reading, a lot of research uh, on keto. So that was pretty cool too. Um, so let me share with you what I feel are the pros and the cons. Um, what are the cons? I'll, I'll do the cons first. I mean, obviously, I think anybody would tell you that the cons to keto are, you know, right up front. It's going to require a pretty, and I, you know, when I'm, when I'm, when I say cons, I'm going to say what people might view as negative. Okay. What, what, what's going to hold people back. Um, Obviously, the keto diet, the keto approach to living, it's going to require a commitment. People, the number one reason why people tend to not even give it a try is they, they'll say, oh, there's no way I could give up bread. I think it's pretty pathetic. I love bread just as much as the next guy, okay? I love donuts. I love cookies. I'm a foodie, okay? I just love to eat. I really do. But if you... Here's the way I would describe it. If you've been busting your ass and trying to lose weight and it's important enough to you and you've been bitching and moaning and, and spending all of this money trying to lose weight, you know, I guess it's just a matter of what, how important is it to you? You know, for me, I really, really, really would like to be as fit as possible. I would like to be able to put on a bikini at any moment's notice and, and not feel embarrassed about my body. I would like to just be able, I just remember saying to, to my husband or to my friends back in the day, like, 
you know, I'm just tired of always fidgeting in my clothes because they're tight or, or I'm, I'm worried about sitting down and having a roll over my pants because I gained weight around my middle. Like, I just wanted to be able to function and not be preoccupied with my body, that my body did not represent the way I lived my life. And what I mean by that is like, my body was carrying fat as if I was eating bonbons and donuts and Oreos all day and not working out. And that's not the case. I was working out six days a week, seven days a week, sometimes two times a day, eating organic whole foods, meal delivery services, tracking my macros, all of this stuff. And yet I was full of inflammation, thick around my middle, you know, 20 to 25 pounds overweight for years and years and years, could not lose a pound. No matter what I did, I couldn't lose a pound until I went keto and the weight just came off. Um, so, Again, when people say to me, I'm not going to go keto, I'm not, I, there's no way I'm going to, life's too short to give up bread. I haven't had bread other than two times in the past year and a little year and two months, two weeks. I have had two times, two different dinners where I have had a bite of a gluten-free roll at dinner. Other than that, I have not had bread in a year and two weeks. Do I look like I'm suffering? Do I look like I'm losing my mind? Do I look like I'm, I've been committed to an insane asylum? No, my life is just fine. Um, I haven't had cake in a year. I haven't had donuts in a year. Um, but you know what? I have had sushi. I have had amazing, wonderful food every single week. Delicious food, foods that I love. I've had French fries. I've had potatoes. I've had steak dinners. I've had uh, alcohol pretty much every single week. People think you can't drink on keto. That's a joke. Um, I drank every time, every time I've been on vacation, I drank every single night on vacation and I still lost weight. Um, there are ways to man I don't want to say manipulate. That sounds like you're cheating, but you know, you tweak the, the diet so that you have what's important to you. But it, to, to just, to, to view the, the con of, oh, you can't have bread as that being a problem, what's more important to you? Is it more important to you to be 50 pounds overweight and feel like shit and hate how you look, but you can have bread? Or would you rather say, I can't have bread and I really remember how, do you know how many amazing, wonderful, low-carb substitutes there are out there for bread or things that taste similar that you can have? And again, I'm telling you, I am somebody who loves to eat. I would love to have a big bagel with cream cheese, but there are a billion other things you can eat. Do you know how good it feels? And I know there's that, that old saying, like, nothing tastes as good as being skinny feels. And I'm not talking about being skinny, but let me just tell you, before I went keto for the, for the past, I don't even know how many years, I couldn't fit into 75% of the clothes in my closet. I am now selling 75% of the clothes in my closet because they're huge on me. I, I, I'm not lying to you. And by the way, go to Poshmark <laughs> and buy, snap up some really great deals because I'm selling workout clothes. I'm selling suits. I'm selling jeans. I'm selling... Um, bras, I'm selling, um, you know, going out clothes, I'm selling, you name it, dresses, dress the population dresses, Be my loss is your gain. I mean, my biggest problem now is I go to put things on and I'm like, oh my God, this is huge. We got to the point where we were like, we realized when we started taking things to the tailor, every, she was charging us like close to a hundred dollars to, to, tailor everything that we took her, even just a pair of jeans. So I'm like, I'm not going to spend a hundred dollars for everything in this closet. I might as well just buy new stuff. So I'm selling everything on Poshmark. But you know, what's more important to you? Shoving your pie hole with a piece of bread or feeling amazing in your own skin, being able to go out at any age and hike and be active or do you want to lose your breath walking up the stairs like some of the people that I know even in my own family they can't even walk across the kitchen floor without being out of breath I mean there are people I know my own age who are just like they're having old people surgery like I'm 52 no I'm 53 <laughs> I just remember that I'm 53 I know people in my high school graduating class or people 
who are my age and they literally look like they're 30 years older than me. And yet then there are people who are my age and, and people who are 10 years older than me who look 10 years younger than me because of the way they take care of themselves. So it's really a matter of what's important to you. You know, what is it? If it's more important to you to have a piece of bread and feel sick and disgusting, um, then you, you probably don't even want to watch any more of this video. Um, I, I just, I can't imagine that. For me, I really wanted to feel better. And yes, I wanted to look better and I'm not going to apologize for that. And I don't think anybody should apologize for that. So obviously that's a con for a lot of people having to give up bread. But let me tell you something. When you go keto, you don't have to give up bread for life. Um, like I said, I'm now um, at the place where I am incorporating high carb days every week. Um, now, of course, I'm not necessarily, um, I have, I would say, a higher level of inflammation due to having Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. Not everybody has that. So I have to be much more careful with things like gluten and wheat. Not everybody has that. In fact, a lot more people who go keto and lose weight on keto don't have to cut out gluten. So I have not only been keto, but also I've been gluten-free this whole time. Um, now, most people are, are therefore cutting out bread because they're worried about the carbs, right? So it's not that you're cutting it out for life. Just know that you're, you're doing, you're going to go in phases. But what I will tell you is, and this is what I'm, I'm working with when I coach people and when people take my five day online keto boot camp, you know, I'm working with people to do what I've done, which is lose the weight. And then, you know, depending on where you are with insulin resistance and hormonal imbalance and whatever, don't, don't like, to me, I think the worst thing is when people go, oh, well, I went on the keto diet and I lost all this weight, but then I gained it all back when I went off. And I'm like, why, whether it's the keto diet or anything, why would you go on a diet change something pretty dramatically, do, do something differently as to like, in other words, you went down a bad path. It made you gain a lot of weight, be unhealthy, and then you didn't want to be that way anymore. So then you changed and that, that path that you took changed you. It made you look better and feel better. You lost all this weight. Why would you think I'm going to go back here? And why would you think that wouldn't make you just go back to being fat and unhealthy. Why would you think that? And why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. It's like if you burned your hand on the stove, you would say, I'm not going to do that again. You wouldn't go, well, I'm going to try that tomorrow and see if that, that doesn't burn my hand tomorrow. That doesn't make any sense. So in, in my opinion, what I want to do is find a way, like I know that going back to eating the way that I did with eating so many foods that were causing an insulin response. And the more that I know about insulin and, and foods that cause an insulin response, generally speaking, I'm going to limit that. Now, does that mean I'll never have pasta? Does that mean that I'll never have carbs? Does that mean I'll never have bread? No, but those will be more rare occasions and I will eat this way the majority of my time. And then when I do have those other things, I know how to get back to this way of eating um, so that I'm not, you know, living and, and living for cravings and, and ruled by sugar and, and dealing with headaches and cra energy crashes and all of that. I mean, this is a way of living that changes everything. It changes your appetite. It changes your cravings. It changes how much you eat. It changes, it changes everything. Those are all a lot of the pros that I'm going to be telling you here as I wrap up shortly. So cons are, again, it requires a certain level of commitment uh, to cutting out a lot of foods that you probably are, many of you are living on right now. But on the other hand, I'm thinking if it means that much to you, you'd be willing to make the sacrifice because doesn't the ends justify the means? So number two, same thing, level of commitment. It is, especially the first couple of weeks, 
it really is going to require a certain level of focus and and counting your macros and just paying attention to what you're eating so that you can really learn um i think macros is really the most important just paying attention to what you're eating measuring what you're eating it it doesn't take long because once you've gotten that um it may it might not even be two weeks but again you owe it to yourself to invest the time and invest the money in in maybe a few things like a, a food scale and, and maybe you know my fitness pal the app the paid app and stuff like that um, that's going to help you do this and do it right that somebody might view that as a con you know i don't have time for this but you know what <laughs> nothing worth it is ever easy is this really that much of a challenge i mean come on so i would say um those are the those are the primary cons for the keto diet um some people might list the cons as oh you know you're gonna have the keto flu or you're gonna have keto you're gonna get bad breath or you're gonna be constipated i disagree um, I didn't experience any of those things. And again, if you follow my advice and you take my course or you're coached by me, I, I really haven't had any of my clients who follow my advice experience that. I, I think that people that do keto the sloppy way usually experience those types of things. So I'm not going to list that as a con because, um, again, I didn't experience it and none of my clients do. So... I would say those are the, the primary cons. And I think most of the other cons tend to be misunderstandings. People go, oh, I can't have alcohol on keto. That's not true. Oh, I can't have potatoes on keto. I can't have sushi on keto. That's not true. Um, most of the things that people misunderstand about keto or think that is a con are misunderstandings. Now, what are the pros on keto? Um, incredible. You will feel better once you go keto. You will have, you will... The first thing I noticed was uh, all the bloating that I had. I was all I was always bloated, and the bloating was gone fast, fast, fast. My digestion improved, my elimination improved, um, the weight loss started to happen very fast. But it wasn't like when I say very fast, I just mean I started to notice that I was losing weight. I typically was losing weight at the rate of a pound to a pound and a quarter a week, which I love because of course we'd all love to lose five pounds a week, you know, and get, you know, lose all of our weight fast. That's human nature. But we, in reality, it is better to lose it slow and steady and keep it off. And I've clearly kept it off. Again, I've lost 36 inches and 30 pounds and I've kept it off. It has been the easiest way to lose weight ever. Um, I felt better, my headaches diminished greatly, um, my skin looked better, my sleep improved. Um, and for me, I would say the pros are, <sighs> now again, this depends on, I wanna put this the right way. This depends on who your guide is, you know? I mean, a lot of people start keto and they don't, they have no idea what they're doing. This is frankly, why I created a course. And, and I didn't know what I was doing in the beginning, but um, there's such a great diversity of food out there to have. And if you are creative enough and you understand that diversity is the key, there's, you can, you just can enjoy delicious, wonderful foods that match the keto macros that will allow you to lose weight while enjoying delicious food and adult beverages, what else could you ask for? I mean, I used to be somebody who was just obsessed with food, living, I, I binged all the time. I, I was in the pantry all the time. I was snacking all the time. I was eating in secret all the time. I just had issues. I never snack anymore. My appetite has significantly decreased. I... I just have such a more reasonable relationship with food. Um, I don't have to worry about what I eat. I just eat what I want and I don't have to, I just don't have to think about it. This has become such an easy lifestyle and that, wouldn't that be what you want? To, to not have to obsess about food and worry about food and freak out about food? And that's what so many 
people, so many women who are trying to reach their fitness goals are doing, they're just obsessed and freaking out and, and doing 80 hours of cardio and, and, and worrying about, you know, eating three almonds or two crackers. And it's like, I don't worry about food anymore. That's like the greatest thing ever. And, and so having no more stress about food, it's wonderful. No more binging, no more sugar cravings, no more mood swings, all of those things. It's just wonderful. So, you know, I'm sure that my list of pros and cons on keto is much different than others, but this is my personal experience. I have had a wonderful life transformative experience. That was redundant what I just said, sorry. Um, on keto, it's changed my life. I'm happy to answer any questions for you guys, but I obviously am a strong advocate for keto, particularly for women age 40 plus, because I now know the reasoning behind why it's so good for women age 40 plus with metabolic damage. Um, it is going to wipe out your insulin resistance issues. It is going to help you lose weight when nothing else has worked for you before. Look, look at me, I'm living proof. I am literally like the poster child for why. Um, I couldn't lose weight no matter what I tried before this. And now I have like the best physique I've had all of my adult life. And I, I sometimes, every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, is this me? Am I wearing these clothes? Are those my thighs? Like, how is this happening? Am I wearing a bikini? What's going on? That's what I want for all of you. So feel free. I hope this was, was helpful for you. If you are still investigating and I didn't answer or provide enough elaboration, leave a comment down below, give this video a like, um, and just let me know what questions I can answer for you. I'm happy to, you know, provide more elaboration or answer additional questions for you on keto. And again, um, I'd love to see you in my five day online keto bootcamp course. I also will link down below. Um, I've got a free keto quick start guide that might be helpful for, for you to take a peek at. And I've also got a um, keto cookbook that I published um, that has all of my favorite recipes that really our staples in our house. My husband is not keto, I am keto, but he loves all of these recipes just as much as I do. And I don't cook separate from my husband and different from me. Like we eat the same things and he loves all of these recipes. Um, these are the recipes that help me lose 36 inches and 30 pounds. That link is down below, it's just 27 bucks. Um, my course is just $97, so um, you should hop all over that and I would love to see you there. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on The Kelly O Show. Thanks everybody for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm going to link up here to my playlist with a bunch of keto videos that might be helpful for you. If you have any questions, again, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. And again, make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you next time.